So when did you know that tonight was just going to be special, I guess? Uh, um, I guess when I got the N1, and I guess it was my 18 point or something, like, something like that. Mm. But, you know, I know second half, when I came out with the first half, it was just be aggressive, keep being aggressive, uh, shoot on, you know, credit Price and all the other guards and the bigs, you know, setting screens, you know, giving the ball, you know, in open spots, and, you know, I just came down and knocked the shots down. So credit to those guys. Did Alex tell you it was the most anyone scored uh, for UCLA since 2005? No, I didn't know that, so now I'm aware. <laughs> Dijon Thompson. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, smooth. Right. <laughs> I know him, I know him. <laughs> it seemed like... In the second half, especially after you make some shots, you just laughed here. So right, right. right. I mean, it just happens, you know. Um, just when you hit a couple of shots, you know, I had two threes in a row, and you just start feeling it. You gotta laugh at that point. So, you know, it's just something a player. You know, I've been through it many times in high school when you just when it keeps falling in, and you just, just gotta laugh, you know. But I'm excited, you know. And, I'm ready to advance and our players on. What, what's that feeling like when, when everything's going in? Oh, you feel free. I mean, you feel like every shot's going in. You got the highs. Your confidence is at a high. And, you, know, you just want to play and keep playing and just have fun, basically. How much were you thinking about your grandma uh, when you stepped on the floor today? Uh, you know, I said a little prayer. You know, I knew she was watching me above. So, you know, I just came out and competed. And, um, Hope she's happy with the performance I had today. What was her name? Uh, uh, Lucine. Lucine no. How do you spell that? L U C I N E. How close are you guys? Oh, we're really close. Um, I used to go visit her. You know, every time I had an off day, um, you know, with my mother. You know, my mother hadn't been making the games because she was taking care of her. So. I was just trying to get that quality time you know, as much as I could. Come out with a different kind of motivation today, man? Oh, of course, of course. You know, something like that always wanted to be you know, just come out here and compete. What was, she was sick, right? Yes. What did she have? Uh, she, she, she had bone cancer, and then I think it was something. She had a pace mark. It was just a lot of things going on. You know, she was just, like, day by day, you know, it was harder for her to breathe, and things like that. So. What? Well, when was the last time you got to see her? Oh, I seen her Saturday. She passed Sunday. Okay. Yeah, so. I know at the beginning of the season, you know, we talked about your confidence, and that was wasn't necessarily all there at all times. But how different did it feel today when you're in the middle of that run than it did maybe the beginning of the season where you're still kind of trying to get your sea legs? Right. Um, it's like basically playing back in high school. You know, AAU, one of those types of the games. Um, you just feel it. You know, your confidence at a high. And, you know, every shot you feel is going in. So. That's how I felt today, and you know, and, and it came out, we won, and like I said, we're ready to advance. This is the sort of performance you feel like you can build on? Like this is going to be a different you from here on out? Oh, of course. I mean, you know, every time like this, it gives you high confidence in a game like this. So, you know, I'm just ready and prepared for next game. Mm -hmm. Was USC starting to adjust its defense at all for you? Because it looked like you were still open for a lot of those corner periods. Right. You know, I guess they were helping, you know. With Tone playing well, um, you know, and Bryce penetrating and Norman, you know, it kind of left it open for me too for open shots. So, I mean, I guess they were trying to adjust. <laughs> Didn't work. I think. <laughs> yeah, so. Were they shutting you off? It seemed like in the second half they started to kind of shut you off, no matter where you were on the court. Right. Yeah. That's when I, yeah. They tried, you know, no help basically. Yeah. So that's why I kind of figured out. That was funny that you took that corner three and you airballed and right. every and everyone laughed. It's right. like right. after all this, like. don't mind. Shot it a little too fast. Should have took my time, but um, you know what happens. You know, it's the game of basketball. So. I almost had to remind you that you could still miss. Right, like, right, right, exactly. exactly. <laughs> what day was it that your, your grandma passed? She died on Sunday. On Sunday. Did you consider at all not playing, or what she wanted you to play? Do you think? I think she wanted. You know, it was kind of tough for me because it was right before practice. You know, my sister called me, you know, and told me, and it was kind of hard for me in practice trying to go, you know, do the drills and everything. But you know, I got through and called my mom right after. Um, and one day, as soon as you know, when we get back, uh, I'm going to see the body and you know, a couple of arrangements we have. The funeral's on Tuesday. So, what's your favorite memory of her? Oh, man, just her being there. We used to uh, every time because she used to live in Vegas. Oh, out here yeah, in Vegas, so every time on Easter, um, we used to make uh, these eggs, colored eggs, everything for Easter, so I mean, I always remember those childhood memories. How much were you thinking about her while you're out on the floor? Oh, God, is that... Uh, yeah, I was thinking, when I, as soon as I stepped on the court, you know, mm -hmm. and I tried to play for her, so you know, I'm hoping she's proud, proud of my friends.